Just as we learn how to color categorize our email messages and contacts, you can also do it for appointments and events. And then after I go over the basics, I want to show you a different view that you can go to to view these appointments that have a color category assigned to it by groups. So all the categories with the orange assigned to it in one group, the reds, the blues, the purples, as well as those that are active, or in other words, those that are up and coming. So let's go ahead and assign a color category to like this event here, select it, which is one way. Selecting it here in the month and coming up here to its related contextual appointment tab, going to the tags group, and then clicking on categorize. Now you don't get these fancy names here, you get the generic like red category for the red color. But as you recall in those earlier training videos on color categorization for the email messages and contacts, that when you click on it, it's going to open up a window and says, okay, this is the first time. You don't have to go with the default color or the generic name. You can change the color and type in a new name. Or you can come down here and click on all categories and select like ghost hunting if you want to change that. Click on rename and we'll call it ghost hunt. Hit enter and you can choose a different color like, let's see, what's this? Dark purple. Ooh, that's spooky. Select that one. And you can also delete it if you no longer need it. You can also create a new one and type in a name, choose another color, click OK. Of course, you got the option to add a shortcut key to it. There you go. But you don't want it to be the same one as the other one up above. If you do select that one, then it will overwrite and remove this one and apply it to the new category. Let me click Cancel, click OK. So, well, here we go. We can come up here and click on Categorize and choose Easter Egg Hunt. That's a happy event. Select it and it's in yellow. Oh, that's an Easter color. That's fun. And our company Potluck Party, that was a happy event. Right click. As another way to go ahead and assign it a color category, go down to Categorize and Happy Events. And then Mr. Humphreys, we can double click. If you have it open, then you can come up here on the Appointment tab to the Tags group, same group. And there you go, categorize. Maybe it was spooky, this lunch with Mr. Humphreys. Go ahead and select it, or maybe we talked about spooky things. Then click Save and Close, get more color to our calendar here. And let's see, ghost hunting. So remember, this is a recurring appointment that has four occurrences. Let me go ahead and scroll down, you know, one, two, three, four, as you recall in an earlier training video. And so if I right click on one, and I go down to categorize and it's ghost hunt. Left click, it updates all the appointments in that series. And then let's see lunch with Carrie. That was happy. Right click, go to categorize, happy events. Okay, I got enough here to go off of to show you this other view, how you can go ahead and group these by categories, by these colors here. So come up here, click on the view tab, go to the current view, click on change view. There's the default calendar and we can go to list. Now down below, if they're not being grouped by categories, then come up here to the Arrangement group and select Categories. And you can see we've got five that aren't grouped. I have one Ghost Hunt item, that's Ghost Hunting. Then I have three Happy Events, so it's grouping them by color. Fabu. And then what's this one? Spooky. Oh, that's the lunch with Mr. Humphreys. Okay. Now, if you want to come up and double-click on one to assign in the category, that's fine. But over here... You can see when you hover over it, it says click to toggle, quick click category, or you can right click for options. So if I click on apple picking, notice how it automatically assigns it the red category. Well, that's not the apple picking category. And so the quick click isn't working for me. So instead I can right click on it and change that to apple picking. So it moves it up and it's the only one in its category. And what's interesting is that it's still in the red category. Why? Let's go ahead and find out. If you right click on it, you can see the red is highlighted as well as the apple. So I didn't deselect it, I just added another category to it. So if I deselect red category, it'll remove it. I can clear all categories, but let's just deselect red category so it moves it out of there and I just have it in one category apple picking. Now today's date is March the 6th, and so I only have one that's in the past, I think. Well, to find out, we can just come up here on the View tab, go to the Current View group, click on Change View, and there you go, Active, select it. And okay, well, Active is all the up-and-coming holidays that I haven't hit yet. Oh, look at that. That's fun. And it changed the arrangement. Instead of by categories, it's by start date. So let me come back up here and select Categories. And then there's all the holidays now grouped by that. So let me collapse that. Don't want to focus on that. And then everything I see here 
is up and coming. I don't see the pot look, do you? No. So those are all the ones that I have yet to come to. Events and appointments. And then to go back to the default calendar view, again, view tab, current view, change view, back to calendar. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.